What is up, Humanoid Nation? So today's video I'm reacting to is by Wrestling Gifts. Wrestling Gifts. And it's called Ric Flair Needs to be Stopped. This is a video most likely talking about him as his last match, which is going to be sad. Not because it's his last match, because it's going to be Ric Flair in it because he's 73 years old. Had a heart attack. Almost died. And now as a pacemaker, how in the fuck are you going to do that? It's going to be really cringy to watch it, but let's see what he has to say. Wrestling gifts for Ric Flair. All right, let's do this. I will only retire when I'm dead in this ring. That may happen. Guys, what the fuck is wrong with Ric Flair? Ric Flair is one of the greatest wrestlers of all time. A yep. man who has been wrestling before my mom was even alive. A man who has been wrestling longer than anyone watching this video has been alive. A man who has won so many championships, so many classic matches. A man who had one of the greatest retirement matches in wrestling history. In front of 80,000 people at WrestleMania against Shawn Michaels, he had such a perfect storybook ending to yeah, a legendary career. But apparently... That wasn't enough. And there he goes Yo, Ric TNA. Flair needs to be stopped. This is not a joke. This is not a meme. This man is on a fucking suicide mission and it's going to be broadcasted live on pay-per-view for the entire world to watch. Because why not? Ric Flair at 73 years old is about to wrestle. He's about to go out there and take some bumps, fall off the top rope. He's about to go out there and probably bleed. He's about to wrestle for no reason. Guys, this is the man who had one of the greatest wrestling retirements in history. And, and he then still wants to, to go out there in some random bingo convention hall and die. This is a man who almost died two years ago. Ric Flair yeah. was on his deathbed twice in the past five years. First, back in 2017, he was placed in a coma for 11 days after suffering a ruptured intestine. And then in 2019, he spent another six days getting more surgeries after a health scare. Ric Flair himself has said that he almost died and the doctors were surprised to see that he made it through. But yo, beside all that, beside million. almost dying, this man has a pacemaker in his chest. A yeah. pacemaker is a small device that's placed in the chest to help control the heartbeat. It's used to prevent the heart from being too slowly implanting a pacemaker in the chest requires a surgical procedure a pacemaker i know uh, i've gone through this many a time i too have a pace okay it's a defibrillator now because they upgraded it i got it in 2006 because of like i was okay i have heart problems since birth so 2006 it was about the time they had to uh, put a pacemaker in when i had the surgery and over the years, it helps a lot because it does help out a lot. It saves your fucking life is what it does. It does. You can't just turn it off. And you can't wrestle with it. It's yeah. also called a cardiac pacing device. Does this sound like a man who should be in the ring? No. Nope. Uh, apparently, apparently we got to get the bag. And yo, we got to make it a big ass event. Ric Flair's last match live on pay-per-view for only $30. But guys, $30. Guys, 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 I only pay $30 when you can pay $200 to watch an old man die in the ring. Because just for $200, you get the entire card of Ric Flair's last match along with the roast of Ric Flair. Because yes, that, that that's what we every need, right? A man who cries every time he's given a microphone. A man who is down so bad. A man who is so just sad let's all gather around and roast him because that's what we need yeah, but wait that's not that's... even the best part if you get Didn't the special two hundred dollar bundle you get something even more you will have a piece from the event in your home because with this bundle you receive exclusive ring use canvas piece in a commemorative oh great i get to have the only, the one can the on piece of the canvas where rick flair died great limited edition plaque what the fuck? Nah, I'm good. I'm good. Because when you guys catch a case for negligence and Ric Flair dies in the ring, I don't want to have to return the plaque for evidence. You have Ric yeah. Flair who, let's be real, after all the shit he's done to his body, the drinking, the heart issues, the injuries, it's a all miracle that, that he's not dead. And now he's going to the ring for no reason. Literally no reason. There's probably only going to be like, what, two, three hundred people there screaming, ah, nature boy, nature boy. They're all probably going to look like this. Yeah. And it's just sad. It Most is likely. so sad. And I get it. Okay, Ric Flair is a guy Flair. who wants he's to do things, right? Die. When Flair has something on his mind, he wants to do it. He wants to go out there. He wants to wrestle. But how do you, as a promoter, allow this? But but regardless of that, you know, the promoter is always going to be out there to make money, right? So, like, whatever. You can't really blame the promoter. But, guys, their promoter is Conrad Thompson. Ric Flair's son. Uh, of course it is. I forgot that it was him. Oh, my God, Conrad. You're your father-in-law. You're going to kill your father-in-law, man. You're going to kill your father-in-law. 
in law how, how, how do you allow this fam that's your family this is not a good idea and then he is out there and he's defending this decision yo th this is just sick this is wrestling at its absolute worst whatever the reason is whatever could possibly be the reason like oh flair needs money no it's it's not worth it flair go do some commercials go sign some merchandise go do a meet and greets why are you trying to die rick flair has become such a sad sad man i get this man had some tragic situations in his life but bro you were one of the goats your daughter is killing it in the wwe yeah. you got a new son-in-law stop trying to act like you're 30 stop getting married and divorced every few years just just settle down old man but nah he wants the clip where doesn't want to settle down he just wants to keep on going no matter how many wives he gets can't be his own age either has to be younger than him like in his 30s or 20s Wow, he wants to go to Lakers games and go out and do all these things and be the nature boy, right? He wants to be the man, which is fine. You know what? Go do that. Even though you should probably be at home, chilling, taking it easy. Go try to live your life like a superstar. That's fine. But there is no need to wrestle, my guy. This is the wrestling disease at its absolute best. Ric Flair needs the love of the crowd so bad because the only way Ric Flair can feel special is if he has a few hundred people bowing down to him and cheering for him. The only time Ric Flair feels like he brings value to this world is when he's wrestling and yo i get it it's tough it's hard out here because all you know is wrestling and you're so used to that validation but come on man like you gotta move on rick flair watched the movie the wrestler and i swear to god he got the absolute opposite message of what was supposed to come across rick flair is actually going to go out like randy the ram he is literally trying to oh yeah he's really gonna be like randy the ram because randy the ram died in the movie well we don't know if he died but you can tell that he died and Ric Flair, it's going to be a whole Randy and Ram situation. And holy shit. Recreate that movie. I don't know, man. The people who are involved in this, promoting this, everything. Like, yo, you guys should be ashamed. Like, this is the dark side of wrestling. Ric Flair is going to pull up and take one bump and boom, magically, it's a casket match. They had the press conference oh. for this and they're all sitting there in their suits acting all like so elite and so proud of what they're doing. Like, come on, man. At the press conference, okay, Ric Flair said... The only concerns health-wise in training and returning was his inner ear issues, blood thinners that he won't take that one day, and his pacemaker. Oh, you can just, you know, plug it back in. No, you... <laughs> All right, let me tell you about pacemakers and how they work. Defibrillators. You can't just plug it back in. You need to go to your doctor. Your, no, uh, cart, no, not the doctor. Forgot what he's called guy that put the pacemaker I, my doctor whatever books you every six months or every four months depending on how you're doing and they put like this pacemaker thing over your pacemaker here and they like play around with this because they need to see what they can do with it either make your uh heartbeat go fast or they can lower it just to see how it goes but they can't just turn it off because it's to save your life you can just plug it back. Where are you going to plug it back in? You're not putting it into an electrical outlet. It's inside your goddamn body. What are you going to do? Are you going to your doctor and say, like, Bo, buddy, can you turn my pacemaker off? Your doctor is going to look at you like you're... Oh, my God. I don't... And he's on blood thinners. If he was on blood thinners that day and he bleeds... Oh, Jesus Christ. And you just can't take it off one day. You need to take off blood fingers like the last four days so it doesn't fuck with you. You just take off, if you stop taking your blood fingers that one day and you bleed, Jesus Christ. There's so many things wrong with this. Plug it back in. Oh my God. I feel it right here. Oh, Jesus Christ. Ah, uh, whatever doctor decides to turn it off needs to get sued for malpractice. Because that shit's wrong. It's like, I, no doctor is going to do that. Says Ric Flair. Only. The key word, only. Guys, guys, apparently, apparently we're just tripping because those are the only issues, the only concerns. You know, the only issues are, you know, the heart, the blood is hard pumps and, you know, just standing up right. Apart from that, yeah. guys, he's 100%. He's going to go out there. He's going to crush it. Five-star match. Amazing. What the? This crackhead, this addict, oh. this maniac. He yeah. legit oh said, yo, yo, it's God. late, bro. I'll just plug out my pacemaker, put it back in there, and, you know, I'm good as new. Fam, it's a...
You guys? Okay, okay. All right. Let's hear him out. He wants to take out his pacemaker. Does he want to do it the day before or the day of? Because either way, if you take it out, your arm's going to be in fucking pain for about a month. Because they open you up right here. And they put it in. And your arm is going to be in massive pain and you can barely sleep at night. Because I've been through that shit. Because i got to get my battery replaced like every five years. And when they open me up and they put the new battery in. Okay, they take the old, old one. And then they put it in the new one with the new battery. My arm is in pain for like a month. Yeah. This dude thinks it's easy just to uh, take it out. Not even thinking, okay, it's helping your heart. If you take it out, you're not going to be doing well, my guy. Holy shit. Pacemaker, not an internet modem. You can't just restart it like it's a modem. If we restart it, you are probably not going to come back. You don't just take out a pacemaker and plug it back in. It's oh not like it's God. on your chest. You're not Iron Man, right? There's nothing on your chest you just take out and put back in. You need surgery to change it or take it out or do anything. It's a one-day surgery, but it hurts like hell. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Oh. I... Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Jesus Christ. Oh. What the fuck? I am legit scared for this, man. Oh. Oh my God. I. I am legit scared for this man. This man is gonna die in the ring. Legit. To it. And yo, if that wasn't enough, you guys already know it ain't a Ric Flair match unless Ric Flair is bleeding, right? Don't worry, don't worry. He's gonna hold it down because he plans on blading. Flair jokes that he. Ric Flair is gonna die. Ric Flair is gonna die. I won't have a chisel with him to blade like he did back in the day, but I will have something on me. For the love of God, Flair, you're on blood thinners and, and you want to bleed? First of all, many of you are probably wondering, what do blood thinners even do? Well, blood thinners, you know, these medications reduce the blood's ability to clot, lowering your risk of a stroke. Your body creates clots to stop you from bleeding. If you fall or bump, keyword bump, your head while taking a blood thinner, you may have internal bleeding, even if there's no external sign you've been hurt. And this man wants- Also, if you cut yourself open, even if you get a small cut, it's going to bleed a lot. You got to put pressure on it to stop because that's what blood thinners do. This dude's head is already fucked up from all the stuff because he easily cut himself and lots of blood. Oh, you've seen it like the blood before in his eyes. On blood thinners, it's going to be even fucking worse. Ric Flair is going to die. Oh my God wants to make himself bleed. Yo, he is going to be bleeding out there like it's Niagara Falls. There's going to be so much blood out there. It's going to look like a horror movie. I, I, I can't. I can't. This man has more issues with his body than my parents have in their marriage. And he's going to go out there and he's going to wrestle. And like a user on Reddit said, Conrad Thompson's trial for negligent homicide is going to be interesting. This yeah. is just sad, man. Ric Flair survived a plane crash in the 1970s. A plane crash that should have killed him. And he still overcame it. And he went on to become one of the greatest wrestlers of all time. He wrestled wrestled in the 80s, the 90s, even the 2000s, on the biggest stages of them all. Anything you can imagine, Ric Flair did it in the business. And he went out in a legendary match. And even though there were ups and, and downs, and even TNA, though post WrestleMania he 24, he had some stints in TNA, you know what? It was fine. It's okay. Because all we remember is WrestleMania 24. That's all that matters. But not, it's not good enough. Apparently, the only thing he can do is like the ultimate sacrifice and die in the ring. And the thing is, he, he literally wants to do that. He proclaims that he, it you know, shares that with the world like that's something wants... that he actually is down for this man needs help he doesn't need to wrestle this is that, that suicide is by wrestling he, should be doing. he doesn't need cheers from the fans he doesn't need to take any bumps he doesn't need people bowing down to him he needs therapy i don't care if he's 73 years old this man needs therapy he needs all the therapy in the world yo conrad shouldn't be promoting a wrestling match he should be starting a gofundme to get this man help if he really needs the money that bad send him to therapy help him out
but nah, this man is going to die in the ring and is going to be live on pay-per-view in some bingo convention hall in Nashville, Tennessee of all places, getting cheered by a bunch of idiots. And the thing is, this is the this is the oh, worst yeah, part. If he survives, right, which I obviously hope he does. I don't want Ric Flair to die. If he survives this, you already know this won't be his last match because if WrestleMania 24 wasn't good enough for him, this is definitely not going to be good enough. If Ric Flair survives this, you are you already know they're going to have a Ric Flair last hurrah worldwide tour and also you know the crazy part is you have a bunch of boomers on rick flair's youtube channel in the comments supporting this i stand with you and support you rick show these young wrestlers nowadays what's it like to bleed sweat and tear and take them to school Woo! For oh god those are the worst kind of fans those are the worst fans oh shit i said all my i know we get just like dude has a pacemaker this Anything that he's gonna turn it off. Oh my god, no doctor in their right mind is gonna say yes to that shit. Good luck with good. Oh shit, Ric Flair's gonna go. Horseman for bro, shut the fuck up. All I can say is I will be there. Nature's always mine and my best friend's all time favorite, and there really isn't a close second. My buddy passed away in 2011, so I'll be there representing us both. Yeah, yeah, man, don't don't even worry about it. Flair's gonna meet your buddy soon anyway. I oh, can't damn. believe this is happening. This shouldn't be happening. This is just sad. This is why I hate wrestling. Only in wrestling will stuff like this happen in this BS carny business. And it's like, yo, if one of their greatest wrestlers of all time has to resort to this like that's that's just sad you would think out of all the wrestlers in the world that rick flair right the nature boy would be chilling in his old age but nah man once that wrestling disease gets a grip on you nobody is safe i said it before rick flair needs to be stopped what the Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I wanted to make this for a while. Ever since the news about this match started coming out, I really wanted to touch on this. It's it's insane. It's literally insane. In the comments below, leave down your thoughts and everything. I don't even know what there else is to say on this matter, but yeah, I'm bad. I can't. I'm at a loss of words. It's your boy Pav, aka Wrestling Ups. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm out of here, guys. Take it easy. I will see you guys soon for the next video. Until then, take care. Not very much can be said about that. Y'all, Ric Flair's gonna die. Gonna bleed. Gonna be take. He's not gonna take his blood thinners. He wants to take off his pacemaker for a day, not knowing that doing that gonna have arm pain, massive arm pain. You can barely move your arm. Even when you get a new pacemaker, holy shit, your arm is gonna be like locked in, like right here. You can barely move, and like you're gonna, oh fuck. Oh, oh, oh. Conrad Thompson, though, like the dude makes so much money with all these podcasts and star cast, and now that he married into the Flair family, not looking out for Ric Flair's best interest. This, is oh my god he's gonna i'm gonna the conrad trial for like murder is gonna be interesting he's not vince mcmahon he's just a podcast king oh god uh, it's like conrad is not gonna do good in jail it, it, oh my god this is terrifying rick flair is gonna die holy shit I don't know what else to say. I said all my pee. I know what it is that pacemaker. Ugh. Jesus Christ, I, I don't know what else to say. Take it easy, humanity. Humanity freak out. Bye. Pasito a pasito, suave, suavecito.